Hi friends, Amy Seifert here, speaker and author of Grace Looks Amazing on You. And today's verse comes from 1 John 5, 14 that says, and this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Now, this is a letter that John is writing to believers, and he has these themes of fellowship and truth and light and love. And right before this verse, John is telling us we can have confidence in eternal life. He says, he who has the son has the life. And then he names another place we can put our confidence in approaching God in prayer. But here's the thing to remember. God is not a genie. He acts according to his will, not ours. And John emphasizes that by saying anything according to his will. He hears us, right? Sometimes I have to tell you, friends, I wish it said according to my will, right? But it doesn't. And there's a gift in that. There's plenty of things I have asked God for that he has not given me because his ways are higher than my ways. And we can really look to Jesus when it comes to this verse. The night before he died, he was distraught. He was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he was really anxious. And he has this moment where he prays. He says, Father, if you're willing, take this cup from me, but not my will. May yours be done. Jesus asked for what he wanted but at the very same time, he surrendered what he wanted. And because Jesus surrendered his will to the Father, all of our sin and God's wrath and judgment was poured out on him so we could have Christ's righteousness, so we could have Christ the peace that we have with God. So we're no longer condemned because he surrendered his will to God's will. So today, let's pray like Jesus. Tell God your hopes and your dreams. Tell him your ideas and your will. And at the same time, let's practice surrendering those things to his will because requesting and releasing both require open hands.